dear brother archbishops and bishops, master of the order of preachers, prior of St. Joseph province, Rever very reverend Stephen Borgulavsky, president of the Pontifical Faculty, prior of the Priory of the Immaculate Conception, all Dominican friars, dear guests, benefactors, admirers of St. Dominic and of the Dominican. I would like to congratulate the Dominican Order for this accomplishment. The new academic center of and theological library. Visiting many dioceses in the United States, I have been impressed by the faith and the courage of the pioneers of the Catholic Church. They express their faith in God and in His Church and their courage by construction built not in the light of the span of their life, but of the life of the Church and humanity. Your predecessor also, when they led the cornerstone of this Dominican Studium in 1902, made a public profession of faith in the future of the Church. They were extremely engaged to build it. Today, with this inauguration, you show to the Church in America that uh, the faith, the fidelity to your charism, and the courage of the pioneers is still in you. In reality, only those who have the humility and the courage to build it will have place in the future. It's true. As it happened in the past, I believe that also in the present and in the future, the renewal of the Church needs a religious life. It's a wrong path to run away from the charisma of his own congregation and to invent new, con new charism which has nothing to do with the spirit of Christ, with his teaching, and with this example. Renewal pass through deepening the charism of each congregation to increase the fidelity to it and to study how to adapt it so to answer to the necessity of men and women of the present time. I heard some superior general tells me maybe the Holy Spirit has decided that we should die. This is not an expression of Catholic faith. <laughs> we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, not the giver of death. <laughs> in 2005, the 19th of April, like today, Benedict XVI was elected Pope and repeat to us what he said from the central lodge of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Let us move forward in the joy of the risen Lord, confident of his unfailing help. The Lord will help us and Mary his most holy mother will be on our side. On this Sunday, 
dedicated by John Paul II to the Divine Mercy, the Holy Father Benedict XVI is with us through the following message he mandated to me to read to you. The Holy Father was pleased to learn that on 19 April 2009, the Pontifical Faculty of the Immaculate Conception in Washington will inaugurate a new wing of this historic building, destined to house its academic center and theological library. We ask you kindly to convey his greetings and warm good wishes to the Dominican friars, to the members of the academic community, and to the many alumni and friends assembled, assembled for this happy occasion. Conscious that this significant expansion of the Dominican House of Studies coincides with the beginning of his second century of life, His Holiness take this occasion to praise the school's outstanding contribution to the pastoral life and mission of the Church in the United States during the past century. He praised that the present celebration will spur a renewed commitment to the high ideals of learning and evangelical zeal embodied in the Dominican charism and exemplified in the perennial wisdom of St. Thomas Aquinas. He is confident that infidelity to this traditional diaconia veritatis, service to the truth. And in response to the challenges of the present hour, the Pontifical Faculty will continue to send forth preachers, scholars, and teachers imbued with a deep knowledge and love of the intellectual and spiritual treasures of the Catholic tradition and an ardent desire to hand them down in all their beauty and saving power to the men and women of our time. With these sentiments, His Holiness commenced the faculty, staff and students of the Pontifical Faculty of the Immaculate Conception, together with his friends and benefactors, to the protection of Mary, Mother of the Church, and to the prayers of the angelic doctor St. Thomas Aquinas. To all he cordially imparts his apostolic blessing as a pledge of wisdom, joy, and peace in the Lord. To sincerely in Christ, Tarcisio Cardinal Bertone, Secretario di Stato. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God, the source of all wisdom, rise the Lord, His Word, incarnate and the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, be with you all. And also with you. The all-knowing God, who is Lord, moves us in many ways to deepen that knowledge of Him, which He revealed completely when for our sake the Word was made flesh. All disciplines, science, and teaching about the world and about human life that we pursue must have as their final purpose to bring us to a knowledge of the truth and to worship the true God. To 
today we ask God's blessing on the center of seeking, learning and teaching what is true. We ask that those entrusted with the theological formation of future priests and theologians may teach their students how to join discoveries of human wisdom with the truths of the gospel so that may grow afresh within the church, so that faith will be fulfilled in their lives and the work of evangelization may grow afresh within the church. We ask further that students will find in their teachers the image of Christ, so that enriched with both human and divine learning, they will be able in turn to enlighten and assist others. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever, bring us all to the glory, and whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. formation of your people and the preparation of young men for the priesthood of your church. Make it become a center where students and teachers imbued with the words of truth will search for the wisdom that guides the Christian life and strive to stand by Christ as their teacher, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord our God, we proclaim your majesty. In many and varied ways, you continuously reveal yourself to us. And in the sacred scriptures, you have handed down your inspired word. Listen to our prayers, that all who come to this library in pursuit of wisdom will be docile to your word. Grant that, imbued with true learning, they will strive to create a more civilized world shaped by the message of the gospel. We ask this. Christ our Lord. 